This video is a follow-up to my flat wire bracelet video. I posted the video in the Wire Makers Club on Facebook and Holly asked me if I could make the same bracelet with aluminum wire. Now, because aluminum is very soft, she suggested that she could double up the wire to make the bracelet. So stay tuned and I will find out if the aluminum wire is going to work for this bracelet. I am using four millimeter flat aluminum wire from Michaels. I also have 20 gauge artistic wire. I have the artistic wire bracelet jig, flat pliers. I have my looping pliers and my flush cutters and a variety of beads. We are going to start by putting about 15 inches of the four millimeter flat aluminum wire around the bracelet mandrel. We want to center it on there. I will link up all my tools in the description below the video. So we're going to bring the wire around and then bend it back at the center there. So just bring it around. You will see the aluminum wire is very soft. That's why we're going to try to double it up. So bring it right to the center back and then we are going to curve it around with the looping pliers. These are the bail making pliers from Beetleon. So we're going to bring the wires back and then just give it a little jog there so the wire will sit flat on top of itself. So make sure you do that on both sides. Put it back on the mandrel and bring the wires back towards the center. So pull it around so they come right back to join at the center. And then we're just going to mark it in the middle with a little marker and then we're just going to clip it in the center and then we want to make sure it's the same on both sides so we're going to make sure it's even there and trim it a little bit if you need to so the wires meet up in the middle so now i'm taking 12 inches of the 20 gauge artistic wire to add the beads and we are just going to make a little daisy flower. I have other tutorials for this flower. We're going to put on six six millimeter miracle beads, curve it around holding the beads with your thumb and finger, make a circle, make sure there's no slack in the wire, and just pull the end around so they're nice and snugly together. Bring the wire down the center to put another six millimeter bead in the middle of the flower. So just slide it on there and then pull the wire through the middle to secure it in place. Use your pliers if you need to tug the wire. So we'll have the flower with one wire going to either side. And to attach it to the bracelet, I'm actually going to take the looping pliers and bend back the wire at the center into two little loops. So we'll have a place to position the flower. So using the smallest part of the Beetleon bail making pliers, we are going to pull it back into a loop. These pliers are great because they're not tapered. You could get a nice even little loop there. And we have to add the flower. So we're going to bend the wire at a bit of an angle in either direction and slide it through one of the loops on one side and then bring the wire. We're actually going to open the other loop a little bit so it's going to be easier to feed the wire through and just slip it in there. And then we can close up that loop again. It's easier than stringing it through We'll just give it a pinch to close it up. So now the flower is centered and we need to pull the wires around the base to secure it in place. And make sure you pull it snugly. You don't want any slack in that wire. We want it super solid. So we're going to take that wire and bend it around the bracelet base. You can put it around as many times as you like around five times is good and make sure it's even on both sides. 
making sure the flower stays centered. Give the wire a good little tug as you bring it around. And then what we're going to do is I'm just adjusting the wires a little bit. If there's a bit of a gap in between the band wires, you can do little adjustments at the center back to make sure those two wires sit snugly one on top of the other. And then after that, you can just adjust those bits a bit, cut them to the same length on either side. Just clip those ends to about three quarters of an inch. And we're going to make a spiral. You can clip them underneath so they're just cut flush. But if you want to make it more fancy, take your round pliers and twist around those ends into a little spiral. Just gives it a nice little touch. Take the flat pliers to bring that spiral in a little more and center it on the band and do the same on the other side. Just hold that spiral with the flat pliers and turn it in. And you can pinch those coils in so they're nice and secure. So you will see that even though the aluminum wire is doubled up, it's still very soft as a bracelet. I would recommend the three millimeter flat artistic copper wire. It's definitely more solid. And for a single band, you can use the five millimeter flat artistic wire. I will link up all the materials in the description below the video. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.